Hi there, how are you? It's Jonica, your independent pampered chef consultant. Sorry about that, I'm gonna to try to stand so that light doesn't glare. It's just the time of day, the southern sun coming in through my windows. I just got home from church and I'm starving. I ran some errands and it's getting late in the, uh, late for lunch for me, but um, I'm gonna have some guacamole. Got my avocado right there. And this is something my daughter and I both love to make. And she makes it all the time. And so um, I'm gonna try using my mix and chop, my pamper chop mix and chop. This is really good for um, chopping up ground beef, chop and mix all in one. And um, I've heard you can do uh, mashed potatoes and things like that with it also. So I'm gonna try it on the guacamole because my daughter's already dirtied up my potato masher. So um, I thought I'm gonna try Let's see how this goes. Um, so, I'm mixing this up. And actually, you know what? I think this works better than my potato masher. Um, you can kind of push down and twist on it. And it's really doing a nice job. So, as you can see, there we go. And, uh, I love guacamole. The avocados are so good for you. Um, it's one of the things I don't like about, I love living in Maine. I love the change of seasons, but I don't like the short growing season. And um, I love to live somewhere where the weather was more temperate, you know, like New Zealand or somewhere. And, you know, you can just have fresh food a lot more often. Wouldn't that be nice? So, and you all know I love my garlic press. So I don't use a recipe when I do guacamole. Either does Natalie. We just put in the ingredients we like, which is um, avocado, garlic, and you'll see right after this. Um, I've got my coated chef's knife right here. I love that this knife. It's really easy to handle, nice and sharp. So. And in my, um, I've got some onion, I mean some tomato, set aside in a prep, one prep bowl. And I think I want just a little bit more. I'm not sure, but I'm going to use my food chopper because I, when I have smaller amounts, actually this is going to be just enough. When I have smaller amounts and I want these just a little bit smaller, they're already chopped from when I did tacos the other night. So they're more finer chopped. There we go, a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna add those right in. Some tomato. And then I like to do onion. So um, I was actually gonna use my manual food processor, but I think I'm just going to, because I don't need a ton of onion, I'm gonna do this also. Red onion, if possible, had to be red onion. I like any onion, but especially the red onion. And um, so, and I think I want a little bit more frying than that. There we go. So I've got my red onion. I love onion. I love the blends of the flavors between the garlic and the onion and the tomato. And I've already got in my prep bowl some I squeezed a lime. So there's some lime juice in there. And now I'm gonna top it off with some fresh ground. Uh, I like pink Himalayan salt. I love the flavor of it. I never used to put salt on my food regularly until I started using pink Himalayan salt. And I love fresh ground pepper. So now I'm just gonna mix all this in. And um, it's very colorful. Look at that. This is gonna be my lunch. Some guacamole. And some tortilla chips. 
And let's give it a taste and see how it goes. Let's see. Mmm. That's good. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's really good. The lime in there is just perfect. Just a lot of flavor. So this is going to satisfy my taste buds for the afternoon. So hope you enjoy the rest of your day.